I'm Ruby Red, and this is a special edition of Fairy Tale News at your local FT news station. Our top story tonight takes place high in the Towers of the Castle, where a young beauty is just a woman. Pete? Yes, hello everyone, I'm Pete Charm. Now we turn to our investigative reporter, Wanda Whereabouts, to get the latest on this once in a hundred years ago. Wanda? Hello Ruby, hello Pete, I'm Wanda Whereabouts, reporting live in the Rose Tower Castle. I'm here with David Dash and the Sleeping Beauty with some astonishing news. David, can you please tell the audience what has just happened? Sir, Wanda, I just lost a tooth. No, David, I mean, what just happened with her? Oh, yeah. Well, this morning, my mom took me out to get some exercise. I thought it'd be really cool if I could climb some stairs. So I decided to climb this tower, and at the top, I found this lady with the sun sleeping in a bed with a sign that said, Kiss me. And I know sometimes if you kiss people on the lift, they're actually frogs in disguise. And I think kissing's really icky anyway. But the sign did say kiss me, so I just decided to kiss her hand just to see what happened. But it wasn't anything exciting. She just woke up. That's why you lost a tooth. Sleeping Beauty, how does it feel to be awake after all these years? <sighs> Exhausting. I was right in the middle of the perfect dream when I woke up to find this kid I don't even know right next to my bed. So when are you two getting married? What? what? <laughs> I'm only nine. I don't even know him. Oh, I've heard royal weddings are just wonderful. Do you guys have any flowers in mind? But I'm allergic to flowers. He's only nine. <laughs> oh, and the food. Did you know our new station covered Cinderella's wedding? The cake is just fabulous. Do you guys have a cake in mind? Oh, I love cake, but just a frosting part. Wait, what new station did you say you were from? And what kind of reporter are you, anyways? Things have certainly changed a lot. Of just one final question, and then I will leave you two alone to anybody. Do you guys? Do you guys know where you're going for your honeymoon? I've never been to the moon before. Cool. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to sleep. Well, Ruby, we'll be another low serene happily. I am one aware about reporting live from the Rose Tower Castle. Oh, young love. It's so wonderful. It is, Pete. And now we turn to our cookies. Tonight we have a special treat. Our very own fairy tale news channel chef, Gourmet, is on site at the house of the three little pigs. Miss May? Hi, Ruby and Pete. Today in our review segment, we are going to discuss Italian cooking with the three little pigs. I am here with them after a recent never skip through the wall. This experience has helped them learn quite a bit about them. Little Pig, can you tell the audience about the special sauce you have recently prepared? Yes, Miss May. As you know, we had to create a fire to keep that big old bad wolf out of our chimney. Yeah. yeah. So we discovered that if you slowly cook spaghetti so it's over fire for many of it tastes much better. Yeah, it does look good. Now, Little Pig, can you tell us what you added to the special sauce? Well, you see, my first house is made of sticks in the enchanted forest. And and the wolf blew the house down, so the sticks got mixed in with the sauce. That became our special ingredient. Mm -hmm. And they understand these enchanted sticks come from a place that you can't reveal? That's right, ma'am. They're very hard to get. Little pig, now I understand that you're in charge of selling the sauce? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Peter, 
Goldilocks. 